Hey guys and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update. Now in today's video guys I want to go over a couple of things that have come out on Twitter by the, in the last couple of days from Ben, who of course is our community manager for Star Wars Battlefront 2. And just over a few things regarding the new map, Adrian Kloss, coming to the game today, as well as uh, some potential dark side skins for heroes. As well as some other things with co-op and uh, the PC black screen glitch as well. So let's get straight into it. So the first bit of news I want to go over, guys, is that the December community survey is up for Battlefront 2 now. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go fill it out. You know, it definitely helps out the devs um, and gets your word in there as well. So st let's start off with uh, the new map, Age on Class. So of course we know it's coming to the game today on December 20th. And uh, it basically, someone asked on Twitter, when is the new map coming? When, what time is it coming? And it said, tomorrow morning, Stockholm time. So it's usually like 10 a.m. Stockholm time is when we usually get our updates. Of course, the update for the Rise of Sky will be a lot later. Hopefully that is not the case this time. Um, it might be just, I don't know if we have to download a patch, we'll have to wait and see. But I can't wait to play on this map, guys. And I will definitely be streaming it when it comes out, so make sure to look out for that. So next up, guys, we have uh, Chewie possibly coming to Sequel Trilogy Co-op. As someone says, we need Chewbacca on Sequel Trilogy Co-op. His look is the same throughout the trilogies. And Ben said we're looking into it. So possibly Chewie coming into Co-op. I don't know if that's going to unbalance the teams at all. I don't know if they're maybe going to bring Palpatine possibly into Sequel Trilogy Co-op. That might be pretty cool as he's not in uh, the prequels already. So we'll have to wait and see about that one. Now this next bit of update is one that I've actually been struggling with a lot and it's got to do with some ragdolls on co-op. So someone says, please eliminate the AI shooting while being ragdolled or stunned during co-op. It makes color and pretty much useless. Ben says we're working on it. So again, working on it. I don't know, this means probably not gonna get this till January. Um, you know, all this probably stuff won't come until January. I don't think we're gonna get a hot fix uh, this close to Christmas, um, considering that the team's probably gonna go on holiday soon as well. So we might have to wait until uh, January, unfortunately. But nevertheless, as long as they're working on it, because I know it gets an very annoying when, you know, the AI are just so accurate in co-op um, and they, you know, you, you, they don't miss. And when you get, like, when they get ragdolled, or flown back or they shoot while they're rolling and if we can't do that why should they be able to do that so if they're working on it that's a great um, but hopefully that comes sooner rather than later because it does get quite annoying in my opinion next up is we have the black screen glitch is back guys and if you don't know what the black screen glitch is basically when you quit out of a game you go to automatically a black screen and you pretty much have to quit out the game and go back into it um, this was a massive issue on ps4 when uh, battlefront 2 first launched now that they actually have a hot fix actually this bug actually came onto PC during the last update, which I will guess is quite annoying. Obviously, I don't play on PC, but for you guys who do play on PC, um, that that hot fix should be in the game now, so you can download it. Um, it. It went live today, so you guys should be able to uh, get that fixed pretty quickly. Now we get into the last bit of news, guys, and it's pretty exciting, but nothing is set in concrete, nothing set in stone. It may not happen, but it looks like they are looking into it. It is about evil hero skins, so dark side skins. So someone asked if we're ever gonna see a Luke, Leia, Han, and Lando old skin. Ben says, no plans for old versions right now, have others we have to focus on first. We know the dark side is due for a few, etc." So it looks like maybe they're starting to look into more skins. So if you guys, again, that community survey, put, jot down your ideas. I know they're already asking how the new skins are, uh, you know, how we are enjoying the new skins. I'm personally a massive fan of the new skins. I know a lot of people were waiting for a hoodless Kylo, but with the helmet still on, and we got that, obviously with the new Rise of Skywalker update, and it looks amazing. Um, I think he's definitely my second favorite skin uh, out of the two. Ray and, Ray and Kylo are probably very, very neck and neck. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. What would you guys like to see? What dark side skins would you like to see? I know there's a lot out there. You know, definitely Maul, Vader, Boba's, there's a couple, Bosk, obviously. Um, Pal definitely Palpatine. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What, you, what do you guys want to see for dark side skins? Let's get a discussion going. But that's it for this uh, news update, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. So thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video or stream, guys. And as always, may the force be with you all. Always.